All right, so let's make a UI for our game or the gameplay screen. So in our game manager, we want to say on public team, home team, public team, away team. We're actually going to just drag these in in the inspector. So I've added another team, uh, named one home team and named the other away team. I added a different material blue just so we can see the difference. I'm actually just going to disable this away team for now uh, because I don't have it set up where I can only control one team at a time. So what will happen is, I think anyways, what's going to happen is it's going to select both one red player and one blue player. And yeah, I'm going to be controlling one of each. So I don't have that set up yet where I can only control one team at a time. So I'm just going to disable this away team. All right. And let's see. So I've got my game manager where I got my home team and away team. I drug those in. Um, I need to go back to the game manager. I need to do a slot for the public um, TMP text home team text score. Text. Let's copy this, paste it, and this will just be away team score text. And then in the update, actually, let's make a method for it public void each score. And we'll say Home team score text dot text equals uh, home team dot score. Actually, no, we want to do <clears throat> string interpolation and say home home team dot score. Then an update, we put the keep score, keep score. That should do it. That should do it. We just got to drag in our references in the game manager. Let's see if it works. If you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you would just hit like and subscribe and that'll really help me out with youtube's algorithm thanks duck bless